realize what's happening in the market? You're dreaming, Tony. You know it's a fair offer. And you get to look like a hero presenting it to your client. Fiona, I know you. Then you know you should listen to me. Oh. Another few weeks on the market? Who knows what my client will get? My guess? Some shaky offers and an angry co-op board. Come on, what's it gonna take to close this deal and give a nice grandma and her peak and niece a new home? We've got a deal, and you have got a rooftop apartment by the river. Oh, well, they must have had 100 offers, Fiona. How did you do it? Oh, just a little creative financing and a whole lot of begging. Oh, thank you. Location is everything. You're going to love the place. You are amazing. Let's celebrate. I, I can't. I'm sorry, but congratulations. Oh, thank you. Really happy yeah. for you. <laughs> Nate, hi. Listen, I'm grabbing an Uber, and I'll be there. OK, see you soon. Andy? Hi, so are we done for the night? Oh, no, 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 they can't leave town tonight. I am showing them the two bedroom tomorrow. The location's amazing. It's right by the kids' school. Now? Uh, I just told Nate I would meet him. Um, you know what? Sure, I can do both. OK, see you soon. Hey, can I, can I get a drink? Nate, Nate, I am so sorry. Fiona. Finally. I know, my, my schedule was just timed to the minute, and the Uber I was in clipped a food truck, so I had to get out and jog the last eight blocks. And listen, I know this was important to you. Yeah, the partners only meet twice a year. And I'll make it up to you, I promise. It, my schedule this time of year is just a blitz. We are a great couple when we see each other, but I'm not dating your schedule. And lately, it seems like you never have time for me. So I'll make time. Fiona, we are who we are. I just think that maybe... Maybe we want different things. What are you saying? Well, that I'm tired of being just one more ball in your juggling act. Yes, I may be juggling, but I, I've never dropped you. Are you dropping me? I think I'm just doing what's best for both of us. You're doing great. Just great. I'll see you in two weeks. Thank you, doctor. I feel much better. Oh, please tell me that you have good news. I have been listening to sad stories all day long. Nate dumped me last night. What? Oh, honey. I know. I'm just in shock. Yeah, well... You know what they say. Men are like melons. It's tough to pick a good one. But he was a good one. And, and I thought we were destined to be together. I guess destiny fell asleep on the job. And what am I doing wrong? But Nate and I had something so special. Well, why don't we meet up? You know, there's no problem that a good chocolate mousse can't fix. What did you learn that in advance, psych? No, I'd love to, but Erwin Landheim's about to stop by, so who knows, that could be trouble. Well, you're you, and you can handle anything. Fiona, try to schedule some time for your feelings. I will. Okay, I'll, I'll talk to you later. Thank you, Fiona. <laughs> Hi. It's been too long. Too, yes, too long. I read about the merger. Well done. Yes, quite the compliment from the toast of New York real estate. Well, sounds better than just being toast. Yes, it certainly does. <laughs> How are the newlyweds? <clears throat> Kimberly left me. In fact, the uh, papers were just filed this morning. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, it is what it is. We're kind of in the same boat. Oh, you and Nate? Yeah, we're on a we're on a bit of a break. I'm sorry to hear that. Unfortunately, when you work as hard as you and I do, sometimes relationships tend to be a little bit difficult. Yeah, my parents somehow found a way to make it work. Hey, how is your father? Is he still in Vermont? Oh, he's still running the inn with my stepmom. What's it been, like five years? I have to say, uh, the city's a lot less fun without my old rival. Yeah, <laughs> I actually passed our old apartment on the way over. And I just can't believe my dad up and left the city yet. I'm sorry, you did not come here to listen to me lament. Now, Fiona, the city is your passion. You take after your mother. And it's that passion that helps you build such a great business, but you could do better. In fact, with the merger complete, I want you to run the new real estate arm of my banking interest. Erwin, I'm honored, but my business is great as it is. I'm my own boss, why would I want to change that? Because you've got a problem. Oh, I do. There's only one of you. Can you imagine what you could do with a staff of 10 or 100? You can craft the Manhattan skyline like it's your own set of tinker toys. 
Okay. Just think about it. But, uh, not for too long. <laughs> I shouldn't have come. I'm not brunch ready yet. Oh, sure you are. You have been working nonstop for, what's it been now, three weeks? But since Nate? Oh, 22 days and 13 hours, but I mean, who's counting? I'm so glad you're not obsessing. You remind me of a patient that I have. Every session, he obsesses about his cat. Isn't there something called patient confidentiality? Don't be boring. And don't block your feelings. I just can't believe that Nate dumped me. I mean, if I could just pay for my feelings to go away. How do you think I paid for my condo? <laughs> never mind. You know what your problem is? You never slow down long enough for you to actually have feelings. Wait, hold that thought. My point exactly. You know, Nate and I used to love this place. Yeah, he would get the Reuben on rye. It was his favorite. Fiona, you're gonna have to move on. But every relationship that I'm in, it just falls apart. Angela, what if I'm alone permanently? Really, what if I'm like that, that half duplex that just sits on the market forever? You need a fresh perspective. You know, I think we could both use a holiday out of town. <laughs> I mean, like a vacation? Yeah, we'll shake things up a little. You know, get your mind off of Nate. We could come back here with a fresh start. I know just the place. We should go visit your dad. I've always wanted to see the inn. The inn? I, I don't know. My stepmom is still upset with me for not visiting since last summer, and... Well, you know my dad and I have issues. You need a change of scenery. I mean, <laughs> let's face it, Manhattan is ground zero for a happy couples. We holding hands through Central Park, shopping along Fifth Avenue, brunching at places like this. I mean, look, look. Don't you see my point? My point exactly. <laughs> you sold me. When do we leave? It's Fiona. Fiona! Hi, honey. How are you doing? First, before you say anything, I'm I'm sorry it's been so long since I visited. Oh, honey, it's understandable. I just miss you. What well, we all do. Well, that's actually why I'm calling, because Angela and I thought it would be nice to come up and, and see you guys for a few days. Oh! <laughs> oh, good. Oh, so I take it you're excited? <laughs> yes, yes. Um, listen, we'll just stay four or five days, but only if you have the room. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Of course we have room. Oh, and Fiona, your timing couldn't be more perfect. Maple Fair kicks off this weekend. Okay, great. Then we'll see you tomorrow. Love you, and uh, send my love to Dad. Thanks. Fiona? Erwin. Hi. We're, I wasn't expecting to see you. And I wasn't expecting to have to chase you down. I'm sorry. I, I really have to apologize. I... Am I detecting a bit of hesitation? No. I'm just going up to visit my dad in Vermont, and... This is an offer of a lifetime. You'll be the queen of New York real estate. What more could you want? Just a few more days to clear my head. All right. Give your father my best. I will. We'll talk soon. Absolutely. Thank you. It is so pretty here. Fun fact, did you know Vermont has more cows per capita than any other state? And apparently it snows in the springtime. It's beautiful. Yeah, can you check my phone and see if we have service yet, please? No, no, no more work. What? It's just because I'm out of town doesn't mean my clients need to know that. Okay, you gotta let it go. You are here to relax and enjoy and forget. You know, I am nervous about seeing my dad. Well, you got five whole days of heartfelt healing ahead. And some heartfelt grilling from my stepmom about why Nate and I broke up. And we're here. Well, welcome to paradise, or Siberia. It's like the frozen tundra. Oh, this is adorable. I love it. Well, Vermont is beautiful, but I mean, this only cost me my childhood home. Oh, you poor thing. What? Who's that? Is that a groundskeeper or something? I don't know. He's cute, though. Oh, I have service. What part of I'm on vacation do you not understand? Oh, this is definitely not Manhattan. Oh, 
That's gross. Ew, yuck. Hey, hey, what, 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 what are you doing? Well, I'm just, I'm just getting rid of these mushrooms. I mean, eyesores like that can really decrease the property's value. They're not just mushrooms. They're oyster mushrooms. Oh, okay, oyster mushrooms, sorry. They're, they're really delicious and they're extremely rare for this early in the season. Well, I didn't mean to interrupt your harvest. But I still gotta take mushroom soup off the menu. Menu? Wait, wait, menu for what? Fee! What menu? Brandon! Hey. 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 Mm. <laughs> hey, Brandon. Angela. The Trouble Twins return. Oh, what? Are you still sore about those snow cones? Snow cones that ended up on my head? Uh, okay, from how I recall it, I was 10. You pulled my hair first. So you back me up on this. Yeah, oh, no, no, no. I'm not getting in the middle of this. Wait, are you still living here? It's only temporary. Just like it was last summer. Mm -hmm. And the summer before that, and the summer uh, before that. I know, no. but you know what? I won't knock it. Helping Dad keep this place running, it's a better workout than I ever had in any gym. Although I do miss being in the center of things. Oh, I'm sure your tech wizard side will rise again. Yeah, I hope you're right. You guys get inside, I'll grab your bags. Thanks. He's working out now? Yeah, he looks good. Oh, yeah, looks great. They're here. Hi. Oh. Hi. Delia. Hi. Oh, hi. hello, Angela. Oh my gosh, it's been so long since I've seen you. I know, it's my fault. I mean, it only has been since last summer, though. Well, when you're running in, that's 200 bookings ago, so for me, it feels like forever. I'm just so glad that you're home. Do we have to call it home? Uh, yes. You and your father are gonna leave this little tiff behind you on this trip, okay? Okay. Okay. The towels are out of the dryer, <laughs> but we better get them folded before the new check-ins arrive. Well, some of the new check-ins are already here. Oh, hey. Dad. <laughs> oh, welcome home. Or er, welcome here. So, how's life in the Big Apple? Great. This might refresh your memory. Got you a bottle of your favorite perfume from Fifth Avenue. Oh. You didn't have to do that. No, it's nothing. Oh, thank you. Oh, and here is some real bagels from Zabar's. Oh, <laughs> thank you, both. <laughs> oh, there he is. Fiona, this is Derek. He studied in Paris. He's a culinary genius and the inn's pride and joy. Mm, little wise guy, groundskeeper. He's our new head chef, and fingers crossed, soon to be the first Michelin star chef in Vermont. Oh, I believe we've met before. And mushroom soup is still off the menu. Yeah, he's uh, very protective over his mushrooms. Yeah, and a true artist who needs to focus. I've persuaded some of the top restaurant bloggers in New England to come later this week, so he needs to be in prime form. The bookings have been down a little bit, and we could use the press. Well, tomorrow we have more guests arriving, and thanks to Brandon, we've updated our website. And we're starting to market to the hip millennial crowd. Hip millennial crowd? That just does not sound right coming out of your mouth, Dad. <laughs> Which reminds me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let me like, get you girls all settled up in your rooms, OK? Great. You can relax and enjoy yourself. And then later on, you can tell me all about your breakup with me. Right this way. Hey, can't wait. Then I'm late. It should have been done by 5.30. Isn't it a little early for all this racket? If I don't get this birch cut, there'll be no smoked salmon for dinner. New York princess. Vermont lumberjack. Can I help you? 
Oh, no thanks. You were already helpful enough with the uh, wake-up call. It's my kitchen, so what can I get for you? We got off to a rocky start, but why don't you just do your thing, and uh, I'm gonna grab some food, and I will just go for a run. Again? <laughs> my kitchen. Fine, have it your way. I'm on a gluten-free, no soy, no dairy diet. Food allergies. No, my nutritionist has this amazing food blog. What are you, what are don't you doing? Don't worry, I got breakfast covered. You're gonna love it. I am? Maybe I don't drink coffee. You? Please. It's <sighs> good. Hmm. You should know I'm actually, um, actually usually just steering clear of carbs. Well, until now. We are literally watching paint dry. Just give me a second. My cell gets really bad reception here. Do you know where there's better service? The world can't function for a day without your input. That wasn't the question. Try outside. A high place, a hill, a barn, a horse. Thank you, you've been so helpful. Well? It's not terrible. Not terrible. Hey. Good morning to you too. Oh, come on, signal. Signal, 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 yes. Hi. Hi, Andy. Andy, listen, I gotta talk fast because I may lose signal, but I need you to check the Kovacs escrow because Andy, 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 Andy. <sighs> oh, Andy. <sighs> nice watch. Hey, help me out a second. I'm late on brunch. Wait, is this where this rooster lives? Because he and I are having a talk. Yeah, I named him Swatch. <laughs> he thinks he's a clock. I mean, do you think he knows how to get a cell phone signal? This is Vermont, it's not Timbuktu. The signal's pretty sketchy up here. Anyway, aren't you supposed to be relaxing after that nasty little breakup of yours? <laughs> Staff gossips, probably wise you learned that now. Well, you know what, it's no wonder, considering there's absolutely nothing to do up here. <laughs> there's plenty to do out here. Oh, really? What, like growing your own herbs? Because that looks real entertaining. Exactly. Everything I serve is locally sourced. And what I can't grow, I buy from local farms. Well, mostly. Mostly. Now, sometimes I can't get the vegetables I really need, but I'm working on a solution. And what's that? The neighbor selling off one of the fields on his farms. The fella up the road? Oh, yeah, the, the kind of cranky guy who favors plaid. Yeah, that's him. Only problem is, old Chauncey refuses to sell to me. I'm shocked that you would rub someone the wrong way. Thank you. I have a brunch to prepare. <sighs> Your old pals on Wall Street can see you now. <laughs> Look around. This place holds more value to me than any portfolio ever could. I could not be happier here. I think maybe you could be happy here someday, too. You think that's possible? Dad, I would have been happy with our old place by the park, but we both know that ship sailed. Why do you always have to bring up the past? Why do you always want to forget it? I mean, I know you deserved a fresh start, but that was my history, too. It would have been nice to know you were selling. You were in college. Besides, it had to be done. Look, I got a million things I got to do. We got a beautiful weekend shaping up. Brandon's uh, online promotions are starting to pay off. It's going to be a beautiful weekend. That's 
get some coffee. <laughs> okay. Okay, there's French press in the kitchen. Right? Oh. Hey, you made it. I heard about the mess on the mass pike, huh? Wow. <laughs> Hang on, I got you here. There we go. <laughs> There you are. You know, you could sleep through an explosion. Mm. Not an explosion of flavor. Feet, this omelet is amazing. The chef here is a genius. Oh, he sure thinks so. Listen, we gotta get out of here. This place is infested. With what? With couples. We left the Big Apple and we ended up in Mayberry. Look around you. We've got lovebirds over here dressed for hiking and mustache Mike and Blondie, they're checking in. And this happy couple over here, they're probably celebrating the first time they kissed. I mean, where is this subway noise when I need it? Okay, honey, we just got here. Yeah, and we can be home by dinner. Are you kidding me? No, there's lots of great stuff for us to do here. You need to open yourself up to new experiences. I've got one word for you. Maple Fair. Yeah, I've heard about it. Some local ritual involving trees. I I've managed to avoid it all these years. Yeah, five days of rustic festivities around town. Look, this looks super fun. And it starts today. Fine, whatever, just... Anywhere but here. <laughs> you have to try this. Scrub facial here? You're not going Vermont to me already, are you? Well, hey, country life sure looks good on your little bro. <laughs> Congratulations! It's not so little anymore. <laughs> oh, great! Look who's here. Yes, Derek's doing a cooking demonstration. The great thing about a small community is that you can run into familiar faces everywhere you turn. And the great thing about New York is you can lose yourself in a crowd. So the scallops golden brown. We add in some of Vermont's finest maple syrup. Reduce that down. The maple actually brings out the natural sweetness in the scallops. And voila! Maple glazed sea scallops. I thought you said you only cooked with locally sourced ingredients. Vermont has no coast, so I'm guessing you went rogue with sea scallops? I see we have a heckler. This might interest you. At one time, Vermont was claimed by both New York and New Hampshire until the Green Mountain Boys defended our land claims. These scallops are from New Hampshire, so how about we make peace and just call them Vermont-adjacent scallops? And how do you know all that? My mother is eighth-generation Vermonter. And that's a good thing? Excuse me, Marilyn! Pardon the interruption, city folk. He is so annoying. Well, come on, Fee, let's at least have some fun. Ladies, step up and take a shot. One dollar gets you one dart, hit a balloon, and win some sweet, sweet prizes. Yes, yes, we should play. It'll be a, a healthy release of aggression. No, I, I'm not in the mood. And this whole thing reminds me of Coney Island. And remember when Nate won me that bear? Fee, come on, we're here to relax and have a good time. Yeah. And there's no $200 many petty places up here. Oh, by the way, you're my ride back to the end. Oh, lucky me. Woo, can't wait. You know what, actually, Ange? Why not? Yes! All right. All right, let's do this. I'll take one. There you go. Thank you. Right, you go. Let me think about it. I'm just going to walk around a bit. Thank you. Hey, is that... Nate? I knew it. You know what? He must have called my office. And he followed us up here. Oh, I knew he would change his mind. Oh, that is so romantic. Nate! Nathaniel! Hi. Fiona. Hey, what are you doing here? Well, I could ask the same thing of you. This place is so much fun, isn't it, Nate? Yeah. I'm just so surprised to see you here. Nate, honey? What's up? Well, I just, um... I... I, I ran into an old friend. That's one way of putting it. What's going on? Well, this, this is Haley. Um, my... my new girlfriend. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I just... It's so funny, I... I... 
thought you just said girlfriend. <laughs> he did. Wow, that, that was... That was fast. How, how did you two meet? Actually, she's a friend of my sister's. Kaylee! Kaylee Summit, it is you! Hi, Mrs. Rangeley. Uh, hi. You two know each other? Oh, Haley's family's been coming to the inn for years. And I have your family's reservation for this evening, your two favorite rooms as usual. Oh, it's not for my family. It's for my boyfriend and I. I always loved coming to Maple Fair growing up, and I wanted to show Nady my Vermont. <laughs> Nady? Hi, Mrs. Rangeley. Oh, my. Wait, are you staying at the inn? What am I missing here? It's a really small world that just got a whole lot smaller. Um. I'm Fiona. Hi, Fiona. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Hey, tick tock. I gotta get dinner started. One sec. This is the last place on earth I expected you to be. At her dad's? Away from the city. Look, I had no idea it was your dad's place. We could stay at another inn. It's Maple Fair. I doubt there's any vacancies between here and Montpelier. I'm so sorry, Fiona. I, I didn't mean for this to happen. It's fine. Really? Yeah, it's totally fine because I am actually, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm also actually seeing someone new. You are? Yeah, yeah, you know, he's, uh, well, he's the executive chef at the inn. And he's just a great guy. You guys would love him. He's just, he's really talented and Hey, just... oh, come on. Scratch my crate pen. He's a little temperamental, but you know what? That comes with being a genius. He sources everything locally. Can you believe that? <laughs> well, I mean, everything except me, of course. <laughs> <laughs>okay i mean i clearly have maple syrup on the brain oh. but i have the perfect fix for all this we leave i mean you're you're welcome to stay if you want but you know the universe is clearly telling me vermont and i do not mix fee don't you see if you leave now it's gonna look like you still care i know but i i just i, I can't do this look it's just one night until delia finds someplace else for them to stay yeah I mean, that's one night too many so if you're coming with me i'll meet you by the car somewhere no why would you think that so, so listen I'm sorry about all this it's just gonna be for one night yeah please it's 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 fine it's whatever it's, I mean you sure did meet Haley fast yeah yeah the timing just just sort of worked out mm. you too with that that chef huh oh yeah Derek Derek and yeah that was same with me. I mean, that was that. That was just a lightning bolt. Great. That 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 is great. Hmm. Anyways, you know, it's it's really good to see you. I um. I I, I gotta meet Haley down at the lake, so I'll just I'll just I'll just see you around. Yeah. Fiona. A word? Yeah. So, I hear we're an item. Oh, you, you overheard that. Okay, listen, I, I'm so sorry. It just slipped out. But Nate and I, we just broke up th like a few weeks ago, and he's already, he already has a new girlfriend up here. A few weeks? Well, 23 days and seven hours-ish. Pretty quick for a rebound, not much of a gentleman. You know what, though? I think we just had a moment. Oh, a moment of delusion? No, 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 a moment of spark. I need your help. Pretend to be my boyfriend for the week. Uh, let me think about that. No. Well, what if... Just please let me save a little dignity here. No, oh, I've got Maple Fair this week and the food bloggers are coming. And even if I was as delusional as you are, which I'm not, there's nothing in it for me. Well, how about a quid pro quo? Huh? You, you want that field for your organic farm, right? Of course, I'd have vegetables farm to table in minutes instead of days. It'd be a dream, but a pipe dream. Chauncey will never go for it. Your dream is farm to table? I can get that for you. 
Not likely. See, Chauncey is a classic New Englander. He hates change, and the city people, he thinks this inn is attracting. He's just positioning himself for a better offer. Look, no, no, no. Look, up here, money isn't always the deciding factor. Chauncey isn't some Wall Street type buying up co-ops in Soho. Okay, listen. I have sold a closet with no windows. I bought a Tribeca loft for a song. You want that field? I'll get it for you. Impossible. Not in my vocabulary. You're serious? Yeah. For the field? Yep. Well, I guess you got yourself a pretend boyfriend for the week. Kiddo, you look nice. Thanks, Dad. Yeah, um, listen, I've been on the phone all morning. Every hotel, motel, inn in the county, everybody's booked solid. I'm sorry, honey. L look, if you want me to ask Haley and, and Nate to leave, I will. No, I'm it's so fine, it's fine, it's Are fine. That's sure? what I figured, yeah. But listen, has, has Nate been down yet? Oh, yeah, he and Haley went out for a morning walk in the woods. Why? Oh, no reason. Oh, so you're okay? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Okay. You missed breakfast, but there's still some brioche no, left. No, never mind that. They're on a romantic stroll, which means we are too. But the dishes. Oh, they can wait. Meet me outside in five minutes. Yes, dear. I thought this was supposed to be a romantic stroll, not a sprint. Yeah, but at this pace, I'll be back before we even started. Put those shoes. What's wrong with my duck boots? Where do I even start? Hey, this is Vermont. You know, I got a pair for you if you want them. Oh, thanks. I'm trying to win him back, not scare him away. You're going to regret it. Uh oh Crying out loud here. No, no. Ah! What are you doing? Put me Quit down. Wiggly, you're going to put us both in the mud. Put me down. OK. Ah! I didn't put me down right here. Put you down. Put you in the mud. You do? having some trouble there? What? Oh, no. No. No, 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 no. We're fine. <laughs> Hi. We were just out for a walk. We haven't formally met. Oh, sorry, sorry. Nate, Haley, this is Derek. Well, that's uh, quite the grip you got there. You two are so cute together. How'd you two meet? Mm, we, we, I, uh, I was, was up visiting the inn, and uh, we sort of well, just, just, just bumped into each other. Literally. <laughs> City drivers, right? Always speeding. Oh, yeah, well, I mean, he was driving dangerously <laughs> under the speed limit. <laughs> well, you know how hard it is to get Fiona to slow down. <laughs> oh, maybe I don't need to slow down. Maybe you need to speed up. <laughs> <laughs> and it just came together in a fender bender of love. Wow. Well, we're off for a nice relaxing walk in the woods. Isn't that right, Fiona? She loves to slow down now. Isn't that right, honey? Yeah, take it slow. Yeah, I do. Okay, uh, well, maybe we'll see you at the Maple Fair then. Yeah. Nice to meet you. You too. Bye. What are you doing? I thought that was good. No, it was a little too much. Here, do you want a hand? No, thank you. You've been helpful enough. Thanks for the help. Where's Derek? The kitchen's a mess. That's so unlike him. I believe that he's out on a stroll with Fiona. What? Why? Because they're dating now, dear. Mock dating. Ugh. Well, thank you. I will uh, see you later. Whoa, 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 hold on. That's it? Well, yeah, I've got contracts still back this morning. Well, you don't want to seem like you're hiding out in your room away from Nate? No, of course not. Good. Everybody in town is going to Maple Fair today, including yeah. us. <sighs> I guess I'm just going to enjoy myself on this trip or die trying. Let's go. <laughs> oh, Angela, Brandon, we are going to go to Maple Fair. Do you guys want to join us? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll grab my coat. Yeah, I'll go get my stuff. Wait, what is going on here? Spring is in the air. Ah, I love the smell of maple syrup in the morning. So you grew up in Manhattan? Oh, let me guess. Hell's Kitchen? No, Upper West Side near the park. More like Hell's Breakfast Egg. Chauncey? Oh. Hi. Hi, sir. That man is allergic to Hell's. Yeah, just don't forget our end of the bargain. I know, I know. Oh, oh, oh. 
Ex-boyfriend sighting, one o'clock. Oh. oh, they're having a candied apple. Well, two can play at that game. Oh, wow, you sure do know how to spoil a girl. Oh, what kind of fake boyfriend do you take me for? <laughs> okay, so we've got uh, pickled jalapenos, capers, and peppers, or oh, you could do some apple bobbing. Oh, how about a little country karaoke right up there? I just really enjoy putting me in awkward situations. Yeah, it's part of the fun of this whole thing. <sighs> Did you see that? What? Nate just peeked over at us. That is called a tell. So when a buyer takes that one last look back at the house, you know you've nearly hooked them. All right, then we need to up our stakes. You want to make them jealous, right? Yeah, of course. Then we need to look like we're having more fun than they are. <laughs> That's such a good point. All right, we got to do something else. We'll save it for after and take a break. Mm, I know. I hope you bought your appetite. <laughs> Do this thing, you know, French crepes, Indian dosas, Ethiopian injera, even blinis in Russia, they all fall under the same delightful banner. Pancakes. Oh, save your mouth for eating them. I'm Mayor Sloan, and I'd like to welcome you all. Thank you. Okay, Thank you. maple lovers, now you each got a plate of 11 pancakes topped with the finest Vermont syrup. Whoever can eat the most in 60 seconds <laughs> will be crowned our pancake king or queen. Oh, no. Ready, steady, eat! Go, 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 go! <laughs> go. What, what are you doing? I'm eating. At the pace of the field house? Food is meant to be savored, not endured. Stop rushing me! It's a contest! I can't do this! I need a little more syrup. Are you kidding me? Watch out! Scoot up! Watch out! Disqualified from a pancake eating competition? Oh, you're blaming me, huh? You were the one who stole my pancakes. What choice did you leave me? Okay, look, we just obviously have different approaches to problem solving. Yeah, your left brain is in you left your brain at cooking school, and I'm right brain because you know I'm right. <sighs> oh no, they're staring at us. So? So we can't be seen arguing. Do something, please. <laughs> what? Oh, God. I panicked. Let's let's go. I should just give up and go back to New York. You still owe me that field, remember? Yes, how could I possibly forget? And I will get it for you. The sooner the better. You even kissed too fast. Oh, Mr. Chauncey. Hi, I I'm, I'm Fiona. Um, here's my card. It's a really great cow you have there. It's a steer, actually. Oh, well, it's an amazing one. Flattery will get you nowhere. And I know who you are. Your father runs the inn. Yeah, we're neighbors. I, I was hoping we could talk neighbor to neighbor about your property for sale. What's your interest in it? I'm actually inquiring for Derek. <laughs> oh, he's bringing in the big New York guns. Well, I don't know about that, but he's offered you a really fair price. Well, you can tell that fellow that I am still not selling to him. Not now, not ever. And that's that. But, sir, maybe we could... Uh... Well, that morning could have gone better. Yeah, that much we agree on. Do you ever slow down? Do you ever speed up? You know, a lot of good things can come from slowing down. Name one. Uh, art for one, the Russian novelist. All they needed was a pen and a long winter. Why do you feel the need to constantly Wait, distract no, 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 yourself? Just give me one second. What, what, are we doing? what are we doing here? I want to show you something. No, 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 no. Where, where are we going? What are we doing? Just taking a little field trip. No, no, no. After our last walk, I think I just need a, a hot bath and a book. I promise it's going to be worth it this time. But you may want to wear these. <sighs> Fine. Almost there. Almost where? Going tree tapping. The first syrup of the season is always the sweetest. Why are you bringing me along for this? To make a point. <sighs> Can't you just tell me your point? There she is. Beauty, huh? 
What's so special about this tree? My great-grandfather planted this tree when he was a boy, among these evergreens. Come on, really? Yep. And then when it grew, my grandma helped him tap it, and then my parents, and now me. Ah, it's really pretty out here. Yeah, and you haven't even tasted the syrup yet. This tree is special. It's got the lightest, <laughs> the most golden. Yeah, a tree like this, it takes years and years to grow. We hold it still. Don't worry, I'm not gonna hurt it. Tap it in. Where's the syrup? I think our tree is broken. Do we have a broken tree? It's not a syrup faucet. See, that's my point. A bucket like this, it could take a couple days to fill. My point is, is that good things are worth waiting for. Sweet, huh? It's not bad. Yeah, we haven't even boiled it down yet. You really do love it out here, huh? Yeah. I love being part of a tradition. Like my recipes, a lot of those are handed down generations. Some people keep photo albums. I have this cookbook I keep by the stove. It's full of recipes. And then when I make something my grandma made, it helps me remember her. It's like she's, she's almost there. Does that make any sense? Yeah, I, I, yeah, I get the remembering part, but uh, for me, sometimes remembering can be hard. What do you mean? Let's just say some memories are like syrup. They stick. But hopefully sweet. All right. Say goodbye. Goodbye, tree. Listen, I think maybe we got off on the wrong foot. Look, I'm sorry. It's just between my career and some issues with my dad and this whole thing with Nate, it's just, I've been under a lot of stress and I, it's... it's... Yeah, I get it. I do. If you don't mind me asking, why'd you and Nate break up? Something about being tired of trying to fit into my juggling act. Thought so. You know, if you really want to get Nate's attention, just slow down. Smell the maple syrup. <laughs> okay, maybe don't ever say that again, but... <laughs> you know what? I have just the event for that. Good time. What is this about? Uh, we're maple syrup tasting. It's like wine tasting, but with syrup. Wait, is this payback for the pancake competition? That's right. Oh, 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 incoming, incoming. Stay in character. Mm. We meet again. <laughs> yeah. So what have you two been up to today? Well, we went to a yoga class. Tried out snowshoeing, and then we found this great little antique shop. What about you guys? Uh, well, we had a really busy morning planned, and then we, uh... Just, um, ended up talking for hours and hours. Yeah, just hours. Huh. Hours. Well, I thought Nate had to try this. The syrup tasting was always one of my favorite events growing up. My wine tasting palette is first rate, but syrup... <laughs> I think I'll sit this one out. Oh, come on. What are you afraid of? It'll be a blast. Actually, Haley, it's on. All right. Hey. Have fun. Uh, yoga? He doesn't do yoga. She is really pretty, though. OK, folks. She's OK. Uh, you each have five samples in front of you. As you try each one, fill out your card with your guess. And then we'll really see who knows their syrup. OK, drink up. Are you serious? Come on. You want me to find the perfect brownstone in Brooklyn? I'm your girl, but this? It's just like wine tasting. It's maple syrup. 
Yeah, but what we call maple is a combination of a hundred different sugars and amino acids. They all combine differently depending on how that particular tree woke up from okay, winter. Okay, so Mr. Tree Man, you're the expert. You do the tasting. Close your eyes. No, I don't want to close my eyes good so I can see what they're doing. Dark. Yeah, that's, that's a Forget about Nate for a second Dark. and just clear your mind for once in your life. Is your mind clear? No, because you're still talking to me. All right, shut your eyes. All right, now give me your hand. What would you do if this was wine? Um, if this were wine, I would drink it. If this was wine, I would swirl it around. That's right. Check mm. for unique tones. Yeah, it seems smooth and... Hmm, kind of a hint of vanilla. Yeah, exactly. Depending on how the sap is heated, it can bring out different vanilla in the flavor. Okay, um, what about this one? What about the color? Okay. Okay. Try this one. I'm counting on you here. And I, I think I remember you saying the later the season, the darker the color. That's right. So we'll mark it late season. You know, you're better at this than you thought. Thanks. And I would call that a tell. Okay, try this one. Okay, number three. Hey, 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 not bad for a newcomer. Thanks. Oh, and don't forget your prize. Two tickets to Tuesday's Maple Dance. Great. I cannot believe we won. Five for five. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey, no hard feelings, Nate? No, not at all. Well, we'll see you guys back at the end. We're off for a sunset stroll. Oh, great. A sunset stroll? Okay, someone's getting competitive. See, what did I tell you? I'd say he's intrigued by Vermont Fiona. I think we're making progress. Oh, hey, you want to make him jealous, right? Yeah, seething. I'm training a new sous chef on tonight's dinner. Would Vermont Fiona like to join me for a dinner for two? Vermont Fiona would love that. There is one thing I have to do first, though. Okay. Mr. Chauncey. Hi. Oh, well, if good fences mean good neighbors, we've got a long way to go. Right. I was hoping we could talk a little more privately. How about you get to the point? I got hungry sheep waiting. Right. I, I wanted to discuss my, my client's offer to, to buy your field. <laughs> Never gonna happen. You're growing weeds. I, I've asked around town, and this has been sitting here for a while on the market. It's a solid offer. Why not sell to Derek? Because he's attracting the wrong element with his fancy cooking. His turnip tartines or whatever they are. Well, you and your type are changed in this valley. It's not for the better. <laughs> me? Sir, you have me pegged all wrong. Your uh, fancy scarf is snagged on the fence. Oh, you look beautiful, honey. Thanks, Dad. So tell me, what is this charade with you and Derek? Are there no secrets in the state of Vermont? Come on, if it impacts the inn, it's my business. We got those food bloggers coming in in a couple of days, and Derek has to be focused. Future of the inn could be at stake here. I know, of course, the inn. <sighs> All right, look, I, I, I got a raccoon situation down at the carriage house, so... Hey, Fee. You ready to eat? Yeah, you know, Dad, do you, do you want to join us? Uh, no, that's OK. You lovely ladies have a nice dinner. What was that all about? It's ancient history. You and your dad really need to have a heart to heart. You think I haven't tried? He, he has this amazing gift for changing the subject. Oh, speaking of, how was your day? Oh, it was great. Your father had Brandon and I handing out flyers for the bloggers' dinner all over town. Wait, he put you to work? Oh, Angela, you're supposed to be on vacation. I'm sorry. Oh. I'll have a word with him. No, don't you dare. It, it was fun. Yes. Ladies, there's been a slight change in the seating plan for tonight. Angela, you're going to be right over here by the fireplace. Oh, I like this. And Fiona, <laughs> your date is waiting. Yes, let's go. Well, hello. Hello. Well, if Fiona gets to mock date, then maybe we can as well. Voila. Good evening. Hi. Oh, no 
duck boots tonight, huh? Mm, these loafers turn back into duck boots at midnight. <laughs> Fair warning, I may have to duck back into the kitchen occasionally just to make sure my sous chef has everything running smoothly. Did you steer a can opener? <clears throat> if we're playing happy couple, you need to pay attention to me and not the kitchen. Okay, well then you have to look at me as well. <laughs> All right, well I guess this little fake relationship of ours can use a little give and take. Okay, let's just do our best. Oh, just a minute, you love being a chef because you get to torture everyone with your perfectionism. <laughs> Is that what you think? Look, you know, the best dishes of my life, my, my grandma's wedding meatballs, my dad's shepherd's pie, maple tort on my aunt's birthday. To me, food isn't about perfection. It, it's about, it's about love and, uh, and family and, and tradition. Anyway, I'd say by the look on Nate's face, our plan is going rather well. How are things on your end? Oh, track down Chauncey today. He is one tough nut. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. But don't worry, I'm tougher. I actually have a little mission plan for tomorrow. Are you in? Sure. Here's to solving all our problems. I told Robin if her brother was gonna act like that, then... Nate, are you listening? Yeah, yeah, I just... I think it's odd that Fiona didn't bring her cell phone to dinner. That's a first. Nate, what's come over you? What? So, what's the deal with you and your dad? That's the one answer the staff rumor mill can't grind out. It's just... When I was 20, my mom passed away and... Well, my life was turned upside down. Sorry. Hey, you think I love this city? My mom loved it even more. She lived life at a gallop and, well, I take after her. And growing up, we had this amazing apartment overlooking Central Park. It was the perfect location. And we would, I mean, we would open the windows at night in the winter and you would smell chestnuts roasting and you'd hear cars driving by all night. And in the summer, mom and I would sit out there and just, we'd watch handsome cabs trotting by. And my dad always thought it was so loud and busy. And but my mom and I loved it. Sounds great. Yeah, it really was. Um, and after my mom passed away, my dad actually just, he sold it. With no warning. Sold it, moved up here, and um, just really put our past behind him. Well, things have been a little strained between my dad and I ever since. That explains quite a bit. You know, for you, you have a, a recipe to keep a memory alive. And for me, I guess, I guess that's, that's like a, it's a place. You know, the city is, is my tie to our past and to my mom. So I'm like the last soldier of my family, just, you know, clinging to this island of Manhattan. Well, that's a tough battle to fight on your own. I think they probably need you in there. You know what? I think it can wait. You might want to tighten those laces, because I had a patch of ice as I jogged that last oh, turn. Thanks, but I actually think I'm going to walk the rest of the way. You are going to walk? Yeah, sure. Walking. What, you, you sprain an ankle or something? No, I just think I want to take in the scenery. You know, you, you seem different out here. Chalk it up to Vermont. But I actually have been discovering a few things lately. Yeah, yeah, I guess you have. You know, I saw you and Derek at dinner last night. I hope you don't mind me asking, but what do you two have in common? I guess I get to discover that too. See ya.
Hey, I'm here to recruit you. Oh. Fiona texted about putting some sort of secret mission together. What is it? Who knows, but you know Fiona always has a nice way of shaking things up. So, uh, how's the whole moving back home thing going? Are you enjoying living out here? Yeah, for now. No, I wouldn't mind getting back into the action, but uh, first I wanted to make sure Dad's in is a success, so. You're such a nice guy, no wonder I always liked you. You know, when we were kids, I didn't chuck my snow cones at just anyone. Well, I only pulled the hair of girls that I liked. Do you want to have a break later and we can go into town, put up some more flyers, maybe find a place that sells snow cones? You're on. Oh, it's Fiona. The mission's a go. Tell me again how I got roped into this. Uh, I had some inspiration. You know what? I didn't get to where I am by being timid. So what are we doing here anyways? We're mending fences, literally, and apparently calcining. <laughs> I want to show Chauncey that we can be a good neighbor. So he's plowing his uh, south field right now, so we probably have a couple hours. Looks like we got our work cut out for us. All right, let's get started. Starts in my toes and I crinkle my nose Wherever it goes, I always know That you make me smile, please stay for a while now Just take your time wherever you go The rain is falling on my window pane But we are hiding in a safer place Undercover, staying dry and warm You give me feelings that I put They start in my toes, make me crinkle my nose Wherever it goes, I always know That you make me smile, please stay for a while now Just take your time Not bad. What's that noise? A tractor? He's coming. Go, 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 go. Oh, go. oh. bye, Bessie. Thanks. Oh, I just wish I could see the look on Chauncey's face when he sees our work. Gotta hand it to you. You really know how to think outside the box. Oh, you have to. I mean, you have to to succeed in my business. Haven't you ever wanted more for yourself? I mean, a chef of your... Of your talent would just be in such high demand in New York. No, I got everything I need right here. Really? So you're content with all this? Just small town life forever. When I was growing up, I couldn't wait to get away. But then I went to culinary school in Paris, and I had this apartment overlooking the city. French girlfriend, different amazing restaurant every night. And then one day, I was sitting on the banks of the Seine, and I realized that I missed home. This place, it just it grows on you. What have you two been up to? Oh, we were just doing a little work. <laughs> Why are you so dressed up? Oh, it's for the dance tonight. Last night of Maple Fair and all. Yeah, I better get cleaned up too, because we're also going to the dance. Oh. Yeah. Right. We don't want to waste our free tickets. <laughs> but don't you have to cover dinner? Ah, uh, no. My sous chef can handle it. Oh, letting go of control. I like it. Yeah, I better go check on him just to make sure. No, it's not a control thing. Just, just, yeah. All right. Well, I, I better go get ready. So we'll see you there. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, uh, Fiona, I need to talk to you. Oh, hey, that was fast. See you later. Yeah. Oh, honey, uh, can I have a word? Sure, what's up, Dad? Yeah, well, I just got a phone call from Chauncey. Oh, was he excited? <laughs> Not exactly, uh, he was furious. You didn't by what? any chance rebuild his fence? Wait, he wasn't happy? What is wrong with this place? Oh, honey, people up here are proud and self-reliant. 
It's best not to burn any bridges. I was hoping that someday maybe you'd want to spend more time up here. You do seem to be taken to the place. Dad, don't, don't forget that this whole Vermont thing is just an act. Right. Um, I got a plumbing thing I... Are you and your dad ever gonna really talk? I'm not holding my breath. Well, Cinderella, you better hurry up. You have a dance to get to. Right. Ugh, I wish I'd packed more evening wear options. Okay, it's almost time. Come on out. Okay. Oh, Fiona, you look amazing. Really? Are you sure? Yeah. Almost ready? Come and have a look at my handiwork. <laughs> oh, perfect. But? But? I have one slight addition for you. <sighs> it was my mother's. I know I'm not your mom, and I could never take her place, but... This is really special. Just... Thank you. Oh, oh hey, hey, wa watch the hair. Oh, oh. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> you ready? Let's go. Your fake boyfriend will be here any minute. Right. Our handsome cab awaits. I never expected all this. <laughs> the bells were the horse's idea. <laughs> you have gone above and beyond. You said a deal's a deal. <laughs> well, it's not exactly Central Park, but it's not bad. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. It's the moonlight. In Vermont. Beautiful. Yeah, it's amazing what a few twinkly lights can do. You know, if I were Nate and I walked in here and found you dressed like this, dancing with some other guy, well, that just might send me over the edge. Are you asking me to dance? Well, if the duck boot fits. I'm just, I'm just staying in character. Oh, is that what it is? <laughs> I hope a slow song won't be a problem. I think I'll manage. I see finger waves. Are you kidding me? What? Ski trails on a mountainside. I've had it. What are you what are you doing? You're clearly still in love with Snow me. Do you want my opinion? Do I have a choice? Maybe Nate was just one more thing for you to check off your to-do list. Do you want my opinion? You are a surprisingly good dancer. <laughs> well, working in a kitchen is a dance all on its own. You're not so bad yourself. <laughs> Thanks. This is such a beautiful song. Yeah, I love this song. Evening, summer, summer breeze, walling of a metal lock, moonlight in Vermont. You know, I gotta hand it to you. You're pulling off your Vermont act surprisingly well. Can I tell you a secret? Maybe it's not an act. You know, when I said that I had everything I needed up here, that wasn't entirely true. What was missing? 
They sing there. down <clears throat> the there's, some, yes, there's some people from the government staff that I love you. Come on. Uh, I'm sorry, Fiona. It's okay. People who meet in this romantic setting are so hypnotized. Fancy meeting you here. Hi. I've been wanting to talk to you all night. Okay. Look, I know that Derek is a nice guy and all. I mean, it's not serious between you two, is it? I, I don't know. Why? Don't you see it, Fiona? We both rebounded, and we bounced right back into each other. It's destiny. Nate, what about Haley? She stormed off. She's headed back to New York. It's over. I was going to tell her how I feel about you, but apparently she figured it out. Look, let's go back to the city. We'll pick up where we left off. It's always been us, Fiona. At any speed. I'm sorry, I, I have to go. We sure are quiet tonight. Just thinking. So I guess you got Nate back. What do you mean? I saw you two holding hands. Oh, no, he, he just grabbed my hand. Call that a tell. Does this mean you're headed back to the city? No, I can't. Why not? Because I haven't held up my end of the bargain yet. I think we can consider our deal complete. No, I haven't got you your field, and I, I never break a promise. It's OK. I'm letting you off the hook. What if I don't want you to? And what about what you said to me tonight at the dance? Maybe we both got swept up in the moment. But my feet are planted here, and yours are in New York. That's just who we are, right? Of course, but... And you deserve everything you've worked so hard for. Yes, young man. I completely agree. But, Erwin, what are you doing up here? OK, I'll be the first to admit, I don't usually have to work this hard to recruit top talent. And I'm also someone who doesn't give up so easily. So I, I thought, perhaps, you and I can discuss the terms of our contract. Over a late dinner? I'll get something started for you. <laughs> Shall we? Famished. Returning to the scene of the crime? At least you didn't tear it down. Oh, I thought about it. Darn thing's too well built. Honestly, sir, we were just trying to do something nice. I'm really sorry, though, if we overreached. I'm actually headed out of town soon, but I got to hand it to you. You're on a very, very short list of sellers who I couldn't budge. Not so? Yeah. Let's just call it even. You know what? There's a. There's a big dinner at the inn tonight. I, I'd love for you to check it out. You could just tell my dad that you're stopping by, and it's my treat. Don't you owe it to yourself to at least give it a try? Bye, Bessie. How was your run? Uh, I kind of turned into more of a walk. I sort of wanted to just look around and, you know, have one last look before I headed back to the city later today. Is something wrong, dear? Irwin sent over a draft of the contract, and it's... I mean, this job is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Well, where's the smile, then? I just... Between Nate and the job and... I don't know what I want anymore. And he wants me to sign, you know, right when I get back to the city. Well, 
Don't rush a decision. In your heart, you'll know what's best. Oh no, I've already decided. I told Irwin that I accept his job offer, so he's just tweaking some terms of the contract and um, it'll be time to sign. <sighs> you know, I better go pack. We have a problem. Derek, what is it? A, uh, a truck jackknifed. And the road's closed between here and Montpelier. There's nothing getting through for hours, including half my ingredients and all the extra kitchen staff I hired. Okay, so what are we looking at? Well, I got no sous chef, I, I got no extra staff, half my ingredients are stuck in traffic. I'm sorry, Harris. I think we gotta cancel. Cancel? No, we can't cancel. We got half the food bloggers in New England upstairs and they're gonna want dinner. Oh, and with Irwin here, my humiliation should be complete. No one's canceling anything. I thought you were headed back to the city. I am, but first I think we have a dinner to pull off. We? Yes, me, you, uh, Delia, Angela, we'll, we'll all help out. You know, that's sweet, but none of you have any real experience. You're good with details, I'm good with speed, you're gonna need both. Well, what about all my ingredients? Forget the menu and, and we'll work with what we have. Yeah, the general store's gonna have things. Exactly, they'll have things and we'll just improvise. And, and what about your family's famous recipes? You can use those. Okay. You know, Fiona, you don't have to do this. <laughs> it's the least I can do. And then we'll call our deal even. Okay. All right, Delia, we'll have you work in front of house. Brandon, Angela, after you're done with salads and prep, we'll move you over to serving. If you think you can work together. We do. Yeah. Fiona and Harris will have you on the line. Okay, now for the menu. Ooh, tortillere would be good. What's tortillere? Meat pie. French settlers brought it over from Quebec. It's very delicious, very Vermont. My grandma had an amazing one. Oh, what about amadama bread? Yes, and fiddlehead ferns. You know, I think this might just work. Pure Vermont home cooking raised to fine dining. Yes, it's like the Yankee credo. Make do with what you have. Let's bring it in. All right. <laughs> Woo, team <laughs> Together, everyone, we have to sync up like an assembly line. If we get behind on even one item, we'll back up the next 50 dishes. Us cooking together kind of takes me back. Remember Sunday barbecues on the balcony? Your steaks, mom's potatoes, my brownies. How could I forget? OK, we've got two hours till the guests arrive. Let's get prepping. Did you see that shining? Passing by at the speed of sound. Better not blink or you'll miss out. Oh, 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 beautiful and amazing, like a thunder and lightning strike. You'll never know till she knocks you down, but you feel it coming. Oh, there she goes like a shooting star. She got fireworks in her heart, lighting up this world with a little smile. She's on the rise and now, there she goes and she won't slow down. Shooting star, yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go, supernova, glowing brighter and closer. Never know where it's gonna land. Oh, oh, oh. Dancing over the rooftops, moving just like a butterfly. But well, you can try like a shooting star. Yeah, I've been looking all over for Fiona. Okay, well, she's helping her dad with something right now, so why don't you sit with Erwin? Do you mind if I sit him with you here? Oh God, I thought my eyes were playing tricks on me. <laughs> You're a long way from Chelsea? You're a long way from Wall Street. Are you ready, Fiona? Yes. It's just perfect. And go. Thank you. <laughs> all right, team, let's keep up the work. How's it going out there? Okay, but you'll never guess who just showed up. Chauncey. What? Why? I, I I went over to apologize for the field and I invited him to be our guest. I can't believe he said yes. Well, he's a thrifty New Englander and a free meal's a free meal. Hey. <laughs> Brandon. How do you think it's going? Uh, I don't know, but maybe we survived? Well, I couldn't have done it without you. To speed. 
and yet taking the time to do things right. <laughs> Excuse me. Chauncey is insisting on having a word with you. Be my guest. You invited him. Oh, come on. Okay, fine, we're in this together. Oh, all right, where's my hockey helmet when I need it? We're in for it. Uh, Mr. Chauncey, was everything okay? Okay. It was uh, delicious. Best meal I've had in years. Really? Anyone who can cook a dinner like that is okay in my book. Keeping Vermont traditions alive. <laughs> I, uh, th thank you. Someone said to me recently that uh, good fences make good neighbors. <laughs> that might be true. That field? It's yours if you still want it. Yes. I'll bring by the papers tomorrow. <laughs> Did that just happen? I think so. <laughs> Excuse me. My compliments to the chef. To both of them. Yeah, I have to say that dinner was worth the extra day. Now, I intend to beat my old rival at a game of bridge, Harris. <laughs> You're on. I'll bid seven no Trump and you'll go back to the city with an empty wallet. Yeah, good luck with that, pal. Okay, Fiona, I'm leaving first thing in the morning, so you, young lady, have a contract to sign in my office tomorrow. I'll be there. Good. I guess we both got what we wanted. Yeah. Thanks again for your help tonight. It's my pleasure. I'll, uh, I'll leave you to it. So, I was thinking if we start back early enough, we'll beat the traffic. Nate, I need to tell you, we both need to move on. Move on? Yeah, I'm headed back to the city with a fresh start. In this new job, it's gonna be twice the juggling. Y yeah, we'll make it work. No. Nate, I, I'm sure of this. I came up here to clear my head, and I did. You were right, and you deserve the right girl. But I'm afraid that girl isn't me. first thing tomorrow morning to sign the contract. You know what? I'm glad we came up here. It was the right call. Yeah, it shook things up a little. Yeah, it did. Fiona, would you mind if, um, <clears throat> if I stayed up a little longer? Brandon wants to show me around. Angela, my brother and my best friend, of course not. I'm happy for you. <laughs> I mean, it's a little weird, but... <laughs> Have you had a chance to say goodbye to Derek? He didn't give me a chance to. No, he had already taken off early this morning. I gotta go say bye to my dad. Good idea. I can't believe we pulled last night off. <laughs> I know. What a night. It was just a, a roaring success. Yeah, well, we'll have to see what the bloggers say, but uh, in large part, got you to thank. Oh, Dad, come on. It was a team effort. Uh, I think it was more than that. I should probably head out. Yeah. <sighs> Promise me you'll come and visit more often. I'll try, Dad. I really will. And okay. you know what? You and Delia should meet me in the city sometime. As much as you don't like it there. What is it? Is that what you think? Well, yeah, look how far you moved just to get away. From everything. From our apartment. Past. Our our lives together. Honey, I know how much you loved the apartment, but I got a secret for you. So did I, noise and all. So then why did you sell it the first chance you got? It was your mom's idea to sell. 
She wanted to move up here eventually. She, she even found this place. But mom, mom loved the city. <laughs> yeah, she did. You want to know why? Because we were there. Look, when your mom passed away, I knew it was time to live that dream for both of us since she was gone. My only wish is that we had done it sooner. Why have you never told me this before? I, I know how much you love the old place. And I guess I'm just not very good dealing with emotions. Yeah. <clears throat> it runs in the family. <laughs> uh, <laughs> when I was on Wall Street, Satisfaction was outfoxing Irwin in some kind of business deal. I never imagined that running an inn in Vermont could be so much more satisfying. I guess you can surprise yourself. Dad, how did you know you'd end up being happy here? Sometimes, just have a feeling. I think I know what you mean. Fiona. Thought you would have been halfway back to Times Square by now. I couldn't leave without checking on our tree. It's funny, I used to think the most important thing was the building, the city, the location. I think it's part of the reason I got into real estate. Yeah. I realized something up here. What's that? It doesn't matter if it's Manhattan or Vermont. It, it's not the place that's important. It's, it's the people. It's the memories that make a place truly special. I think I could be happy up here. What about me? Uh, you went back to the city alone. Hey, that's a pretty good haul. Yeah. I told you good things come with time. They certainly do. <laughs> honey, honey! Whoa, what's all the hubbub about? The reviews are in. It's a tour de force. Vermont traditions with a new spin. The bloggers are raving. Derek, <laughs> you did it. No, no, we did it. Oh, I am so happy for the inn. But I'll be sad to see you leave. Don't be sad, Dad. You'll still have one of your kids around. Yeah. Where is Brandon? Dad, I wasn't talking about Brandon. I was, I was talking about me. Huh? Did you tell him the news yet? Um, yeah, Brandon's gonna move into my apartment in New York and get back into the game, and... Well, I, I'm gonna stay up here for a while. Maybe a long while. Wait, you're staying? I told Erwin no. Really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, honey! <laughs> That'll be great! I mean, who knows? Maybe I can lure some clients up here. After all, this place worked its magic on me. Oh, that's fantastic! <laughs> okay. Here it is, straight from the tree. To the table. New England bread pudding and my and our maple syrup. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hold your breath. It's okay. Some things are worth waiting for.